Hello and welcome back to my channel and the first episode of Wreck This Journal in Colour. So I thought this time I'll do it a little bit differently to my other series and I'm going to do a chat through because as you know my other ones just with music. So let me know in the comments below what style you prefer more. I decided to start the spine before the journal got too fat and I just went for Zen Tangle designs and I just did this all the way around the journal. It did take quite a while but I really enjoyed it and it was quite relaxing and I was really happy with the end result. The second page I did was colour this page red on purpose and I was really inspired to do lots and lots of things red so I started with Elmo because he's just sprung to mind and he's kind of like my main character in here and then I just filled the rest of the page with whatever random red objects I could think of or like things that could be red and then Hayley, Julia and Danny turned up with their breakfast journal so we kind of had like a little mini breakfast journal party and just did our reckless journals together so that was one of Danny's little candy cane hearts Hayley did like a little rose picture for her smell this page and Julie did like a rainbow funnel she also did her crumple this page and got the cat involved so he got to have some fun attacking her page and he did not want to give it back but she did get it back eventually. So I went on and outlined my red page and I really like how it looks. The paper in this journal is a lot thicker than the paper on my other reckless journal so everything turns out a lot crisper. I then used my test page to find all the different shades of red I would need and got colouring with red, red and more red. It's quite similar to the one I did in my other journal which was my white page but I actually did this page first so it's not quite in order but I really enjoyed this one so I decided to do this similar thing in my other one collect fruit stickers here page I wanted to do like actual fruit stickers stickers of fruit just to change it up because I've always done the you know stickers off fruit and I just thought I would start it and just kind of stuck stickers everywhere did some little pencil designs down the side and coloured in the background and I was like oh yeah that's okay like it wasn't the best page ever but it was fine I quite enjoyed doing it and after I coloured in my background which took a wee while I realised that on the back of that page is the paper chain and I was like okay I'm gonna have to make a drastic change here so I took all the stickers off the back of the paper chain cut up my paper chain and make it like a garden picnic theme so I drew like a teepee and some cushions and blankets and a tree buntings I didn't actually draw any fairy lights I did a picnic camper cushions flowers you know put my chain together I put it in rainbow color order because everybody loves rainbow order and I went on to outline my page and kind of put it as like a background lots of circles and lines and stripes and zigzags and all sorts just to make it a bit interesting coloured it in and then I was randomly inspired to do a tree because you can't have a garden party without a big old tree and I thought I would kind of like loop my paper chain over the tree as like a little decoration in the garden party so I coloured in my tree and cut it out I then decided to double side my tree so one side could be like a fruit tree and the other side's like a garden party tree. I then covered it with tape just to kind of keep it strong, I then smothered it in fruit stickers on one side and on the other side I put my little, what do you call it, paper chain. It's a bit big for the tree but you know you get the idea I then went on and got another piece of paper and decided to draw, draw two little girls having like a little picnic tea party thing and added them to the background these pages are both super spontaneous like I had no plan for them they're probably one of my favorite pages in the book so far not that I've done many so there's not much competition but you know it's fine I like how there's a tree made out of paper which it was a tree once so it's kind of just become what it used to be in memory of whatever tree it was 
Anyway, that's all for this time. Let me know how you found the first episode of the series. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to hit the bell. And I will see you next time. Bye!